welcome back to the show. Back to tell you about another fabulous event. I love this city for yeah. events. There is something is for everyone, and you get to be introduced to amazing cultures, and that is exactly what our next guests are doing. We are joined by Justin Holness. He is the owner and founder of Unity Entertainment. Welcome right. to the show. Thank Great you to so have much, you here. Man. We Thank also you. have Laura Leonard. She is a fashion designer with Laura Leonard Originals. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Let, let's talk first of all about Unity Entertainment, Justin. Sounds good. Uh, how did that get started? What was the what was your purpose? Well, for honestly, I'm the type of person that I'm ambitious, and and I don't uh, I don't see myself in the in the far future to be working for somebody. I like to be my own boss, and the reason for that is because I have dreams, I have visions, and I, I really like to be able to provide people with the same opportunities that I've had in my life, and especially young people. So. Unity Entertainment, we provide a creative environment for indigenous people right. to express themselves and their heritage through all forms of art, music, and fashion. Mm -hmm. Hence, our second annual Indigenous Art, Music, and Fashion Show. And this year, you're calling it Indigenous. That's right. right? So it's a play on words. Oh, it's a play it. on yeah. words. And there's, there's reasons for that because we're all indigenous from somewhere. Absolutely. Right. Right. And so I also believe that we're all a genius within ourselves as well. So I want this show to actually spark that genius within people, mm -hmm. specifically the youth. I mean, I found my genius later on in life. That's due to different struggles that I had to overcome. But when I found my genius, my life changed. Right. So well, this what event were some is, of those struggles? What I mean, I was born and raised in Winnipeg. It's the highest Aboriginal population per capita. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, my parents split at a young age, and it confused me as a young man. So when I was out going and exploring the world, trying to find myself, you know, I found myself doing things that I'm not proud of, mm -hmm. but it did make me who I am today. Right. And then music and, and my culture is what's kept me on the straight and narrow. So my indigenous heritage, I gotta give thanks to the creator, and I also have to acknowledge that we're on Algonquin territory as well. So mm. all that kind of helped me find my genius, yeah. Well, and there's different components to this. As you said, there, right. there's art, there's music, that's there's right. fashion, and Laura, yes. obviously fashion, that's, that's right. where you come that's in. Right. Tell us a little bit about Laura Leonard Originals. Well, um, I've been sewing since I was about 16 years old. Um, you can see some of my things yeah, these here. Are beautiful uh, these are These are made from, uh, these are all leather, except okay. for the small one at, at the front. Um, and as you can see, they have kind of a thing of mine is to use um, animal prints. Right. For these ones are, are bear, yeah, these bear are paws. Great. Um, and yeah. and the, 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 the animal prints are, represent um, the clans because Aboriginal people have clans, like it's a clan system. Their, right. their family, they come from a, a particular clan. Um, so in this, in my case, it's Bear Clan, um, but I also use the, um, prints of other clans as well as, mm -hmm. uh, such as um, Thunderbird here, yeah, let me show and that um, I this also use um, it Wolf Clan and um, different animals. I, I like I like animal prints, so yeah. it's, I, it's something that I use yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah, and I use a lot of leather in my work. And it's, this is so soft, like the leather that you've used too is just mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. This one is elk skin. Okay. Uh, this one is deer, and this one is uh, cowhide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you have a beautiful model standing yes. by, Aurora, mm -hmm. who's been on the show and is a wonderful performer as well. So, Aurora, come on in here, and we'll have a look at your outfit, and then. We'll also mention, I believe, that Aurora's performing That's right. at the event. That's right. Multi-talented. Right? She's a young girl. She's already finding her genius. And yeah. there's an environment here that she can totally showcase herself, her talent, her skills. And it's a great uh, great experience all around. Nice. Yeah. So, Laura, you made this outfit? I did, yes. Wow. And um, I'll just talk a little bit about it. Um, the fabric is actually from uh, Guatemala. It's made by Mayan people on a, on a traditional backstrap loom. Um, okay. which is something that their culture has used for a millennia. Um, and I made the, the, the clothing from, uh, from that fabric. Um, so this is sort of a, a contemporary form of a, of a traditional um, idea. Right. And I've also used, uh, I've, uh, I made uh, a, a yoke, which is used a lot in um, Aboriginal uh, dance regalia. And I've also made her um, her choker and medallion, and her, medallion and her and her earrings beautiful. as well, which is something that is also used in uh, dance regalia. Okay. And her purse, and this is this is a wolf. Um, uh, again, coming back to the clans, a wolf mm -hmm. um, symbol. Mm -hmm. well, where did you did, did you get formally educated, or is this something you've just since you since you were young, you've just um, always been interested in. Well, I, I haven't been formally educated in fashion. Right. Um, it's something that uh, I've 
I've, it amazes me that you me, can do this. Yeah, so that would be, you know. <laughs> it's, it's taken me a long time to to perfect it. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's I, I took a sewing course when I was 16, right? And I I haven't really. I mean, I went to university, but it wasn't for fashion. Yeah. So. Well, and m many people end up doing just that, right? Yeah. Just, you, you end up finding a passion in, on a different course after mm -hmm. you graduate. Well, that's a beautiful dress. You yeah. can wear that to you know any of the events that we, we mm -hmm. spoke of today. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's that's what's so important about this kind of event is that it our culture is what's inspiring us. And when you when you find that niche, something that you're good at, something sure. you're passionate about, your life changes. You yeah. find a way to be successful from it. Mm -hmm. You find a way to make a living and doing what you love. And to me, that's the best way you can live your life. Right. Doing anymore. what you love to do. Yeah. That's part of what this event is about. Well, I feel grateful. I'm in, I'm in <laughs> that position doing this. You exactly. Can, you can quite imagine what exactly. that's. Uh, you're also looking at developing a scholarship. Fund that's correct. I'm, I'm inspired by youth, as we, we all know. And uh, I spend a lot of time at the Urban Aboriginal High School. And uh, I love that school, I love the youth there, and so I want to find a way to keep them inspired because mm -hmm. through a lot of the struggles within the Aboriginal community, I want to give them something that will motivate them in a positive way. So the scholarship fund is one way I can kind of give back to the school, right. help keep them on the straight and narrow, help them uh, you know, further their education. So part of this event is to develop that that scholarship fund for the Urban Aboriginal High School. Great initiative, and I'm just going to remind viewers, we've had it up on screen, but it is happening at Centerpoint Studio Theatre. Mm -hmm. That is Saturday, March the 14th. Thanks to the three of you for being here. Thank you really so much. Really appreciate it. Appreciate Beautiful you work, Laura. Thank Your you very work much. is absolutely gorgeous. You can visit the website, of course, to find out more information. Thank you for being here today, My Jose. Pleasure. It was a real pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for watching. Dylan Black joining me today. Uh, tomorrow, sorry, for another great show. We'll see you then.